Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, day 15 Hayabusa build, and this is a rear brake master cylinder. This is a rear brake master cylinder repair kit. So you can tell what we're gonna to do today. Now this little thing, as you saw, it was a challenge just to get it off the bike, as everything else on the bike has been. So this little pump that pumps fluid down the line to the caliper, we're gonna open it up and see what badgers lie waiting inside for us. So wish me luck. Let's see how easy this little thing is to rebuild. Right, lovely, nice and clean in there. Round inside the top there, all that rust and filth, that was just deposits, external deposits from this ram on top, which itself is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's very rusty, you'll just clean that up, grease it up and put it back in. You can reuse that part along with the little clevis link and the union, that's all fine. All those will get cleaned up. The rest of that stuff is all in the kit in there, so that'll get replaced. I'm just gonna clean everything up, clean the surface before I get involved in that. You know how it is. This is a bit of a surgical operation. It has to be done spotlessly clean. Uh, but the, weird, the real wear is in the piston itself. This little solid cast piston with two seals on it. This is where the wear occurs and when it starts to leak past. Leaking past simply means that as you push the brake on, the piston pushes up against the fluid, but because the seals are warm, it just squeezes or oozes past the seals. So your brake pedal sinks. Although the brakes are on, the the pedal is sinking, you find yourself pumping it to keep it on, and that's quite a dangerous situation. So it wasn't doing it, it wasn't causing that problem, but nevertheless, now I'm gonna re-kit it from scratch with a brand new piston and seals, it won't ever do it. And inside the bore in there is superb, no pop marks or rust or corrosion in there whatsoever. Brake fluid can contain water, it can get waterlogged, it absorbs that water, and once it gets inside there, that can start to corrode the aluminum inside, but there's nothing, we've got away with it. It's absolutely lovely, although it's a dirty, neglected old bike, it really isn't that bad when you get right underneath. Most of the stuff we're doing can be cleaned up. So there we are. Let's clean those parts up we're going to reuse, get the kit laid out on a clean piece of paper and reassemble it.
Right, here we are. I'm sure you'd agree that was an easy little job. A rear brake master cylinder, tick. Two internal moving parts and extremely easy to get undone. In fact, you'll face more challenges with corrosion and stuff that's stuck and welded together through rust and age than you will actually the complexity of the construction. None of this is difficult to do. It really isn't. And I'm hoping that these videos that I'm doing separately as standalone, not how to's, but showing you what I do, showing you how it's done in a simple enough way with no dramas. Now that was the brake master cylinder. There's three more to go as you saw the kits earlier on. I've got the slave cylinder next, and then the next video, that's a very simple little job. It's just one moving part inside there with a seal around it, so that's gonna be extremely easy. And then the two master cylinders up on the bars, the front brake master cylinder and the clutch master cylinder. Now all of those, once they're done, then and only then will I bother juicing the whole system up, put all the pipes on, put all the brake fluid in, and plumb it all together so it actually works. There's no no point in getting involved in that sooner because I might have to take things off. This is a project and you're always treading over the same footprints if you're not careful, wasting time, so there's no need for that. So there we are, join me in the next one. Clutch slave cylinder. This one was brake master cylinder. Hope you enjoyed it, I certainly did. Thank you for watching, take it easy, ride safe. See you next time. Mm -hmm.